compressible flow, speed of sound, and Mach number. I think everybody knows Iron Man and Superman. So the advantage of them is they could it could fly. And then uh, if we watch their movie carefully, we found that sometimes when Iron Man fly, after a certain velocity, after a certain speed, we could see a cloud formation around his body, like this. We could see the same phenomenon in Superman. So this is when he fly at certain velocity, and then when he become faster and faster, we could see clearly there is a cloud formation around his body. So we could see uh, the formation of cloud. So what I want, what I'd like to discuss here, does it really exist if we could fly as fast as Superman, or it is just a computer graphic in Hollywood films? If the cloud is a true phenomenon, so what is the meaning of the presence of the cloud? So what we could say is the phenomenon of cloud formation that we could see in Iron Man and Superman bodies is actually a real phenomenon that occurs when our speed reach Mach 1, which is equal to the velocity of sound. When the object moves fast, the air around the object is compressed. The presence of water vapor in the air forms that we see that we see as cloud. If the object moves faster and the object is able to break through the cloud, an explosion will be heard. It is called a sonic boom. Usually, after an object reaches Mach 1, an explosion sound will be heard. Another example of volcanic eruption. If a volcano erupts violently, air in the volcanic area will rapidly compress. It will form a shock wave. It can break down car mirrors and buildings mirrors. To explain this one, I would like to show you a picture of Jet Fighter F-18. So you could download or you could see this video and you type by using the keyword of shock wave in Jet Fighter. So this picture is a picture of jet travel or flight just before the M1. You could see that a very blur cloud formation can be seen here. And then when it reached Mach 1, we could clearly see a cloud formation here, exactly the same cloud formation that we could see in Superman and Iron Man. It means that they are fly at Mach 1. And then when it reach when it uh, go faster and faster beyond Mach 1, so the sonic boom occur and the cloud formation here will disperse. And then, we, but in this video, we could see a little bit of cloud formation after it reached Mach 1. To explain that formation or to explain that phenomenon, we need to know about Mach waves. So let's say we have one source of sound at this point and it is fixed at this location so and then every second the sound uh, sound source here will release a sound wave every second it will release it will move from here to here and so on so it means that after three seconds a sound wave from the origin will travel and Till this area and then one second after that one will travel until to this area and just one second release sound wave will travel to this one to this area and then we could see that we could hear all the sound here because we are stay at the sound at the source of sound here Let's say we are moving a little bit. I mean the source here is moving from here 
to here, to here, and to here. Okay, and then it's move with certain velocity. Okay, so let's say we the the velocity from here to here is constant. So mean uh, we take a, a simple calculation. The distance or the time between each move from here to here is one second. So at this point, so means that it's already moved in three seconds. So while this source at this point, so it released a sound wave and it's already moved for three seconds. So means that it the the area covered by that sound is here. So and then when the it moved here, the the sounds release and it cover until this area and when it move here it the sound is just released so this is the area covered by the sound and finally it reach at this point and the sound is not being released so you could see that if we travel so we could still hear the voice or the sound of our engine because we are still inside the sound wave. However, this sound wave is become not symmetrical anymore because we move from left to the right. Okay, so for an object traveling at a speed greater than the speed of sound as shown below, it cannot hear its own noise. The region outside the cone is a zone of silence here. So that an approaching object moving at a supersonic speed could not be heard until it passed overhead and the Mach number cone. The cone shown intercept the observer. So this is where our source moving faster than the speed of sound. So means that start at starting point here, so our source release the sound wave and then after one second, after one second and another one second. So it's mean at three seconds before from its original distance, original location to this final location. So and the speed of sound is constant and then we at this point, because this point is already 3 seconds from the current location here, so the sound wave is bigger. And then the second one is a little bit smaller, and this is the next sound wave. And wave here is just begin to spread. So we could see that the cone here it's a tangent on the mark on the wave on the sound wave here so means that if we reach mark number one or greater than mark, mark one we cannot hear our own noise because the sound is slower compared to the speed of ourselves here. So we call the formation of triangle here as mark code. This is the formation of mark cone from the previous slide. So from here we could simplify our drawing like this. So we take the largest mark wave here sound wave here and then we draw a circle here and the, the distance from here to here can be represent as V which is the speed of the source and then as we learned previously in potential flow source means the its flow as a radial here so means that we could say that the sound move from source here with the direction of radial. So the distance here is C, the speed of sound. 
So from this diagram, we could draw a, triang a triangular shape with a 90 degree here. So we could say that if we assume that this angle is 2 alpha, now it's become an alpha. So the relationship between alpha and these two terms, C, speed of sound, and V, velocity of uh, object, we could say that the value of alpha here, the angle here, can be found by reverse sine C over V or reverse sine of 1 over M, which is M is the Mach number. And this is a shock wave observed uh, in experimental. So we we could conduct this one in wind tunnel or water tunnel. So what we need to do is we put a, a sphere here, a steel ball here, and then we flow with a high speed wind tunnel, for example. Because in real situation, the atmosphere here is zero and our object will move at certain speed. But in experimental or in laboratory, what we do is we make our object here static and then we move the uh, fluid at certain speed. So after it reach uh, Mach number 1.53 according to the to, according to this experimental work, we could see clearly a borderline here which create the Mach cone. This might be the best graphic for you to understand how shockwave develop when we move faster and faster until we reach Mach number 1 and more than that. So for example, we have uh, one object here and this object produce noise. So it might be come from our engine and so on and so forth. So if the object is not moving, so the wave sound will disperse like this. So if we move a little bit with slow, low speed, so might be the uh, sound wave will look like this. So it's a, a little bit denser at the right side here. So and then when we move faster until we could reach the sound of speed, so we could say that this object now is moving at sonic speed. So sonic speed sonic speed mean the mark number is one and we could see that the sound of sound sound wave is very dense here and the shock wave was created at this time we could say that the shock wave will create a perpendicular to the movement here so however when we move faster from the sonic speed so let's say we are moving more than mark one here so the sonic speed the shock wave will uh, become like this so this is another uh, idea about shock wave so if our object here our big uh, jet uh, fly in subsonic flow there are no shock wave there this is very clear and when we have a supersonic slow uh, supersonic flow with a very low for example, with Mach number 1.06. So we have shock wave, but uh, according to the common observation, we could say that the shock wave is detached, detached from the object here. So and then if uh, we fly faster around Mach number 1.45, so we already reached the supersonic flow, supersonic flow, so and we find that the shock wave is now attached on our object here. So the word oblique here shows that the uh, shock wave is not perpendicular. It's, uh, it occur at a certain angle from compared to the uh, movement of our object here.